Western Mass News is your school authority, getting you answers to help prepare you for whatever school is like this fall. The most recent concern comes from a mom whose child has autism. Western Mass News anchor Brittany Murphy has more from two local superintendents on what protocols will be in place. Hi, um, I'm concerned because I have a five-year-old little boy and um, he's autistic. These little young kids, they don't wash their hands when they go to the bathroom. You have to, con you know, constantly redirect them. For me, I have underlined illness and my mom have underlined illness. I'm just worried how I'm going to do this. Rosemary Heslop, Springfield mother of two, called our Western Mass News School Authority line, concerned about protocols in place for the special education department. We're getting answers from the superintendent of Westfield Public Schools, Stefan Zeparowski, and what their school is planning for. Depending on the uh, on the program, there are some programs where our staff will have gowns and face shield and masks. Uh, our goal is to again, supply as much uh, PPE as we can to our staff so that they also feel safe uh, working in the classrooms because we are looking to bring in some of our high needs students in every day once school opens. However, he says it's on a case by case basis. If we think they would benefit from wearing more additional material, as gowns, but again, we've ordered enough to kind of cover us uh, through January, so we certainly uh, we just want to make sure we have enough material for everyone. John Franzoni, superintendent of the North Berkshire School Union, says they've purchased temporary desk dividers. We'll divide right across a, um, if a teacher and a student are working face to face across a table, it will allow to have, you know, kind of like you see in the stores where you have, it won't be plexiglass, but it'll be some kind of clear material uh, that will separate. So, for example, speech. You can't do speech instruction with with a mask. So we want to make sure that the student and the teacher are both protected. And so while we're doing speech instruction, we'll set up these temporary dividers. And that way, it'll allow the uh, staff and the student to interact without a mask on. And for both, it will vary between each student and their needs. We want to educate parents as to why this is necessary. But once again, our staff will be. Uh, will be wearing their PPE. And so if in that particular instance, if a student takes it off, for example, it might be addressed a little bit differently depending on what the student's needs are. In Springfield, all students, including the special education department, will be starting remote. They will be reaching out to each student for more information. And in Chicopee, face shields may be an option for those students with medical, behavioral, or other challenges who are unable to wear masks or face coverings. In studio, Brittany Murphy, Western Mass News.